Solar energy is simply energy provided by the sun. It's free. It's abundant and the possibilities are endless. As Africa turns to greener sources of energy, Lighting Africa is transforming lives improving small-scale businesses, inspiring new innovations, and creating new entrepreneurs. We call it the study lamp or the learning lamp, which goes for 575 shillings. This is the Lighting Africa story. Lighting Africa is a joint IFC World Bank program that was created to develop a market, a market for quality solar of great lighting products in Kenya. But getting a sustainable market going is no easy task. It requires partnership with government, non-governmental organizations, private enterprises, and the local community. In Kenya, the program was executed in two phases. Phase one focused on quality standards and market entry. So our objective was first to, to ask, what is the challenge of creating a market in Kenya? Number one, we identified that quality was an issue. To ensure quality, Lighting Africa worked with the industry stakeholders to establish standards. At the time when we started in 2009, there was no standard. But by 2013, there was now an international standard. Once we have a global standard and we know what the need is in the country, we work with Kenya Bureau of Standards to discuss how to adopt such a standard into the country that will benefit Kenyans. Once they were in place, it was time for market entry. There was an issue of price. People associated solar with very rich people. You know, as a normal person, you can't afford solar. So the issue was, could we create a market for solar products that were not too expensive, but were of high quality? Lighting Africa rolled out a series of community outreach programs, peer-to-peer -peer marketing, and roadshows. But as solar uptake increased, it became evident that getting to rural customers would require new ways of financing and distribution. The second phase of the Kenya program, Lighting Kenya, set off to resolve last mile distribution and access to finance. To ensure that solar products reached consumers in hard to reach parts of rural Kenya, a unique last mile distribution network was developed. <laughs> Retailers embedded sales representatives in communities to provide personalized sales, training, and service. We decided to move from the model of the traditional stationary retail outlets to work with last mile entrepreneurs. Many of our partners had last mile di distributors on ground, people that they trained to move out. So we also entered into the fray and identified 400 women in different counties and sought to give them the tools to, to become solar entrepreneurs. We were surprised at the success of these women, the way the women were able to move products from the traditional retail places to the homes beyond our expectation. <laughs> In Kilifi, Lighting Africa partnered with Plan International to roll out an entrepreneurship and last mile distribution program specifically tailored to women. Kilifi Solar Project is about empowering dirty female entrepreneurs with basic business skills. They have so far been able to train in entrepreneurship, bookkeeping, basic record keeping, then they were introduced to a product that they were going to sell using the entrepreneurial skills they have gained. 
that earns them an income and a livelihood, which was a solar product. The Plan International program has created a new generation of rural entrepreneurs and brought products right to the customer's doorstep. This is Marceline Kabibi, one of the beneficiaries of the program. Naona biashara hii itanitoa mahali, itanitolea mwangaza vizuri. Manake mafanikio anapata vizuri, atia senti nzuri na watoto anasoma vizuri. Pia hapa kwa jamii yale matatizo ya kuumwa na macho pia watoto wakiwa wanasoma yanapungua, yanaendelea kupungua. This has helped us to push solar products further into land. People don't need to be in Nairobi to get products. But even the best products and most expensive distribution would be useless if customers cannot afford the products. Since most rural customers have limited access to money, there was an urgent need to figure out a way to help them get low interest financing. To address this, a revolutionary innovation was introduced pay as you go, or simply pay go. The fact that people can spend the same money they were using to buy kerosene to buy a solar product has expanded the opportunities for solar. People are now buying solar radios, solar TVs, because with pay go you can pay 50 bob a day or so and, and get something you thought you could never afford. So it has changed the aspiration of people. Kenya is one place where people are now moving up from just pure lighting on their tables to solar home systems, multiple lights in their house, mobile phone charging, um, radios, TVs. The sky is the limit. Pago offers solar consumers the opportunity to own solar devices for little upfront costs. Consumers only pay for the solar they consume on a daily basis. The deposit is 1,000 shillings, then 80 coming after the seven day grace period. The customer will be required to make a daily payment of 80 shillings. Tena uzuri tunawapatia muda wa kulipa. Kama muda anataka kununua cash, atuchukue cash mara moja. Tunampatia muda wa wiki tatu, analipa kidogo kidogo. Na kama ni loan, tunampatia kulingana na ile solar amechukua. One minute one ginyol wache matindo tindo praria re. Praria re ni kikune chule bang jo. Iyo do solar. Ibro chule kama no maitieki, masola ni bedu mari. For the credit facilities to work, Lighting Africa partnered with microfinance institutions which already had a wide footprint in rural communities. We are a microfinance and that is an advantage to us because already we have a client base. When we give uh, these solars to clients, we give them in terms of a loan. We charge a small interest on the amount of uh, the product. In addition, Lighting Kenya has partnered with Equity Bank to roll out Ecomoto. Equity has 20, over 20,000 um, agents who work closer to the consumer. We've tried to create a mobile phone-based loan that people can walk to just a small equity agent, use the mobile phone to see whether you qualify for a loan. And if you do, within 10 minutes, you are given a loan for solar. For support services, training and additional funding opportunities, people in the local community were also encouraged to form village savings and loans groups. The groups have been instrumental in improving livelihoods. Through women group we are able to reach them and we interact with the vendors so that we can give them the products and then they pay in, a, in, a, in a installment. Uh, which makes it easier for them to, to afford it. It becomes affordable and we are able to pass on the credit to them. As solar uptake spreads across the rural landscape, new products and innovations are coming up. On the shores of Lake Victoria, a new product has struck a chord with fishermen a solar lantern that increases fishing hauls.
hii taa utaweka tu kwa nyumba ukisha toka kwa barini wewe unaweka tu una charge unakuja unashona gogo yako ama neti ukishamaliza kushona neti unaenda unalala The lantern is also cheaper to manage safer and much more environmentally friendly Presa lam tije tek kingio kar mafuta ibro chulo siling praburu ibro yudo kai dhiko denam kai amukudo to ya mobro tage masiche moko broto ma presa lam magi mas mwezi sola tok broto and obro liel throughout to strengthen the solar market further Lighting Africa engaged with corporate players and provided market intelligence. So market intelligence has been one of our key things. We have a market trends report which we, we put out every two years with our partner organization, Gogla, which is the Global Off-Grid Lighting Association. Today, a solar market has taken off. So as the products go further hinterland, you need to get qualified technicians to provide after sales support. So one of the things we have focused on as a program is to train over 300 technicians in the rural areas. As the market grows, the need for more trained technicians is increasing. New job opportunities in installation, sales and service are opening up and rural economies are beginning to see an increase in revenue. Biggest impact is plants are not buying kerosene again. They know how clean energy. A market is being created where you have supply of good products, suppliers of good product, consumers of good product, financiers of good products, and people who provide after-sales service. That is a market created to be developed, of course, but created. As darkness falls, the horizon lights up. It's a new night a solar-powered night.